Hey guys, it's AntiXXL back with the uh, do it yourself 4x8 flood and drain table. You see, I got my fittings hooked up. Whole lots of extra silicone. <laughs> they got all over the place. I siliconed under the plastic, on top of the plastic, then squished the, uh, the rubber ring into that silicone. And putting the drain back through, we got silicone on everything, but it's pretty ugly. And, uh, those are my risers. My other drains. I got uh, my reservoir. I forgot to tell you on the first one. You also need another hole for the plug for the pump. I didn't think about it until after I got it together. I was like, how am I supposed to plug this in? But there you go. I drilled, I don't know, it was like a one and a quarter inch hole. It's way too big, but uh, you can just put your uh, pedal bit next to the. Uh, end of the plug and figure out what size you need. And up here, everything's working perfect. You can see the end of the table is a little unlevel. That's one thing you're going to want to make sure. You don't want it perfectly level because you want the water comes in this end. Here's the, the filler under here. If I can get to it, but and you want this end to be lower so that when this end gets done filling and the pump shuts off, it will all run back to that other end. And I thought it would be a good idea to have the inlet on one end and the uh, the drains on the other end, so that way, as the water is coming in, it flows across all the plants and goes out those when uh, the overflows and then it comes back and goes back into the reservoir a lot of systems you see they're both right in the center or whatever I mean I'm sure maybe there's no difference I don't know but uh that's just my idea and uh one thing I did put my drain my uh, inlet a little far away from this edge it's probably a better idea now that I realized put it closer to the end so that all because there still holds just a tiny bit of water on this end and about an eighth of an inch or something because that ends a little bit lower but everything works perfect um, we have these net pots these are 3.7 inch 3.75 inch pots I got 50 of them for 25 bucks at HTG supply um, they got shops all over the country like 10 locations or 8. They also have an online store and they also have an eBay store. So that's the best place. You're not going to find it cheaper anywhere. You might find one or two items cheaper here and there, but you're going to have to look really hard to do that. So anyway, this is the third part and I might do a fourth part with the plants or I just might call that the uh, I don't know, something or other, whatever. But if you have any questions or comments or anything on what I did and or anything like that, if there's anything I didn't cover, um, feel free to ask or comment or whatever you want to do. And I'll try to answer it to the best of my knowledge. This is my first time doing this, but I've seen a lot of videos on how to build this. I'm good at building things. But I guess we're going to see how uh, good I am at growing plants hydroponically since this is my first shot at it. If there's any tips you guys might have on growing this way or anything like that, I'd really appreciate it. And uh, thanks for watching.